Hey guys, welcome back to Just Fixing Garage. I'm Justin. Today we're working on a 2014 Dodge Dart with a 2.4 liter motor. I think it's called a Tiger Shark, multi-air, whatever it might be. Uh, so we're gonna be changing out the starter. Um, it, this is gonna be a pretty straightforward video. I'm gonna try to make it as short as possible because, you know, obviously you guys are probably doing this yourself and you don't need all the extra crap. So I'm gonna dive in and I do wanna say before you change your starter, I have a few other videos where we just clean the grounds and that fixes our issues, um, adding a ground cleaning connections, so before you change your starter, check that stuff first because it'll be a waste of money and time if you were to do the starter on these. So otherwise, let's get into it and I'll show you how it's done. All right guys, so first step, whenever you're doing alternator starters and mostly anything else on a car, you should always disconnect the battery just so that you know you're safe and that nothing's gonna go off or arc or whatnot. Uh, we previously did the alternator and we added a ground here. That was probably like nine months ago. Uh, so you're gonna wanna come over here to your battery. You don't have to mess with the positive side. You just should take off your ground side. It, I believe it's just gonna be a 10 millimeter. That's what size it is on ours. But if you break that loose, it should allow you to wiggle it off. And all you're gonna wanna do is just kinda tuck it away where it won't touch the battery. So if you want, you can also throw something over this to know it's not gonna touch, but as long as the ground is disconnected, it won't do anything. All right, so we're gonna move to underneath the car next. Uh, I have seen some videos where people remove all of this stuff to get to the starter and get to a bolt. I have done one of these on a 2.0 and I can get to the, the back bolt, you know, with a little bit of reach, but I can do it off on the bottom and I don't have to touch anything up here. We're gonna try that on this car and maybe I'll eat my words and I'll have to come back, but I'm pretty confident that we can do everything from the bottom, we can pull the starter out, and we don't have to mess with this. So I've seen videos where they do that, you know, from the top, forget that, we're gonna do it from the bottom. Step one, wake up early, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, everybody just do your thing. All right guys, so before we can even get to our starter and look at it, we're gonna have to take out this belly pan here. It's gonna be multiple 10 millimeter bolts. You can see like here, here, uh, these as well. Right here, right here, right here. This entire panel here is gonna have to come down. So I'm gonna use my impact and get all that down. They appear to be just 10 millimeter bolts. So I'm gonna zip that out and then drop this pan. And if I get the exact bolt count, I'll tell you, but you'll know if it doesn't come down. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. 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 Alright. So I got most of my bolts out. Actually some of mine broke. It looks like they were cross threaded in there and they were not gonna want to come out, but they did with the impact. It's not the way you want. Uh, you're also gonna need to remove some clips right here. So um, depending on if you have this kind of tool you can pop it out with that probably going to be on both sides there we go mine are on the ground but i'll be able to get them same on this side get a tool underneath of it and of course i'm doing it with my left hand which is not my dominant hand go pop the middle out pop the back out and then we should be able to pull this down and make sure i didn't miss any bolt up oh, i did miss a bolt of course i missed a bolt so i'll get that other bolt out and then drop this down all right guys so we got our belly pan out batteries disconnected we're gonna follow up under the car to see where our starter is located and if you look right above your exhaust there is your starter now the reason people try to go from the top is because you can see this bolt here but there's another bolt facing um you know coming the other way in that bolts the top of the starter you can reach it um and you can get to it i'll check the size and tell you when we get to that um but there's definitely you know it definitely can be done from that uh, perspective all right so then you can look up there and see your wiring so there's a yellow wire going to the starter and there's also a uh, nut that will have to be loosened. You might be able to take the starter down first and then undo that, but I generally prefer to 
undo all my wiring up there where I, where I can and then drop it down. So that's what I'm gonna do, but uh, I'll get to that in a minute. I'll walk you through it. And then, uh, you know, while you're in here, if you want to, you can remove this uh, splash guard here and you can clean your ground wires. Uh, I've shown a video for that, but like that's your ground wire there as well as further up and they can get dirty and crusty. Um, you can clean them up while you're in here, but otherwise, let me see what sizes I need and what I need to do to get this uh, electrical connection off. All right guys, so before I go up in there, I wanted to show you what I mean. So right now, when we're looking at the starter in the car, this is the bottom part that we see. And this is the bolt that we're able to visibly see going through into the car. You can notice that it is not threaded here, okay? But when you look at this top one, this is threaded. That's because on the car, the bolt is coming in from this side and screwing into this. So that is why it's difficult to get to that bolt. I've done it, I'm gonna do it again on this, but just know that this is the reason people fight from the top, but I'm, I'm telling you, you can get to it from the bottom. If you do struggle, you can go to the top if you want, but I'm not doing all that. Uh, but what I wanna show you is the starter so you can know the connection. Since we know this is our bottom, um, we wanna look at what actual nut do we have to disconnect? Because you, you can see two on here. We don't have to touch this one. This is just the connection from one to the other that sends a signal to the starter to engage. We're not touching this one. We're, we'll have to loosen our top nut that is on the starter, and we're gonna have to undo the clip here. Now, I use really long needle nose pliers because it's like a pinch style clip to pull it off. That's what I'm gonna use on this. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, it's gonna be difficult for me to show you me getting it off, but you're gonna see the yellow wire going and you're gonna have to get a pair of pliers, long needle nose or something, and get that off. Again, if you wanna try to drop it down first, like get the bolts out and then do it, you can try that. I just get a little concerned because of the tight space that if I drop the starter first uh, and the wires are really tight, I could pinch a wire and then getting in there is gonna be ridiculously hard. Or if these are so tight that when you do drop the starter down, you have, it's, you know, when you're trying to turn it and break it loose, it's just moving the starter. So if you feel good enough to get up there and loosen these first and get them off, do that. It's great. It's fine. Uh, just make sure you have a variety of tools to do it. All right. So let me show you the tool I'm going to use and let's see if we can get this clip off. Well, guys, it took me all of 10 seconds to get the wire off with these. These are called compound pliers because you can see there's two hinge parts that allows it to open up a lot on the end without opening up much here, meaning taking much space. Let me show you what I took off. If I can get you up there. I guess you need a light too. Uh, hopefully that'll do. All right, so you can see, oop, no, you can't see because you're not facing the right direction. Uh, this wire here, I actually, it was sitting up there. I just grabbed it just like this and pulled it off, okay? So this is the signal wire. This is what tells the starter, hey, you know, you need to engage, okay? It's a tiny little wire because the actual solid 12 volt is what gives it all the juice, all right? So that can be out of our way. I can feel comfortable that I'm not gonna rip that wire. Again, that's why I say take it off where you can. And now I have to take out that top nut. All right, you can barely see the bottom on the top one. It's probably a 13 or something along that line. I'm gonna check. And see, I'll let you know, but if you got a good set of uh, compound pliers like this, you can get up in there and pop that wire off. Just be patient. I mean, it's a pinch style clip, so if it doesn't seem like it's coming, just play around with it and get it. All right, I'll let you know about the top nut. Hey guys, apologies for any choppiness or your inability to see. I wanna show you how I'm getting to that top nut there. Like I'm using a standard uh, 3 8 inch ratchet with just a non-deep 13 millimeter socket. It fit up there just perfect where I could get it on the nut and break it free. It's actually loose now. I could probably get it with my fingers now and pull that off. All right, so again, I'm just getting the wiring off. You can choose and, you know, maybe someone can comment that they had better luck dropping the starter first, but I'm just, I know, it's just not how I do things. Um, but some, I've had cars where that works fine, like alternators and such, but this starter seems pretty tight wiring. So I'm going to finish finger tight, you know, finger loosening that top um, nut and then I'll be able to pull the wire terminal off of the stud and then I'll start working on these bolts. We're going to save this bolt for last and we're going to do the back bolt first but I'll show you when I get to that. I'll tell you the sizes and guys hopefully you know you can do this yourself from the bottom because I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get the starter to fall out right through here. All right I was able to get that terminal off of there. It's kind of just fitting to the side. My battery is dying on this darn, the darn light. Uh, so I need to start working on the bolt that's facing this way toward like, you know, the threads point towards the passenger side so I can break that loose. It is a 15 millimeter, 
Uh, it is going to be tricky to get your hand up in there. Essentially, you're going to have to, let me see if I can get my camera going. You're going to have to stick your arm up in there and then turn it sideways and you're going to feel that bolt, okay? It is not easy if you don't do this very often. It's, it's a little difficult, but you can get up in there. And it is a 15 millimeter. Now, something to note is <laughs> this outside bolt, that is a 14 millimeter, the one you see right there. But the back one's a 15. Why they did separate ones, I don't know. I think it's just a mess with your head to have you fighting to put a 14 millimeter on the back one, but I couldn't get a 14 to fit. So uh, I'm gonna charge this light up a bit or hook my quarter one up. But um, I suggest you do the um, do the one that you can't see first because what you because you'll be able to take it out easier. If you take the bottom one out that you can see first, um, it's gonna put tension on that bolt on the on the one you can't see, and you'll fight it more. So start with the bolt you cannot see. Break it loose and then you should be able to get it with your hands at that point because there's no weight of the starter on it. So I'm gonna work on that. You're not gonna be able to see it. I'll, if, I, if I can mimic my arm bend in there, uh, I will. But the bolt is there. We know it's there. I can feel it. I'm just gonna to try to get a regular ratchet in there. If I use something different, I'm gonna show you. All right? But I'm gonna give it a shot. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Yo. Set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do, the aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step at a time, yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control and the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration. And if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day, call it rep. All right, I'm still charging my lights. So you can't see super great up there. Uh, I got the bolt that's facing this way out. Now I just have one bolt left to get this starter loosen, and that is the 14 millimeter here. I'm gonna loosen that, I'll keep recording, and then I'll make sure I can drop it down here. I hope I can because uh, I did on the 2.0, the 2 and I'm hoping it will drop out here. So, I'm gonna get it loosened and see what happens. Ah, right. Call it replication. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. All right, let's see if we can pull the starter out now. Hopefully, the battery gives me enough juice to wiggle it off and see. Oh yeah, she's out. See, get it right from the bottom. It pretty much came on this side of the bar here, all right, and then dropped right out. So here we go. Starter is out, guys, all from the bottom. Don't go to the top. Don't watch the other videos where the guy rips the battery compartment apart. Forget that. That is a waste. So let's go uh, compare this to our new one, make sure it's the same, and then we'll reverse installation, put it in. All right guys, so let's do a quick comparison of the new and the old since we've got them side by side now just to make sure everything's correct. I got them laying the same orientation <clears throat> just to make sure things are good. Um, I'm guessing there's no plug that goes over that or maybe I'm supposed to swap this over. I'm not, I'm not really sure. I'll see if that swaps over, but it's probably just like a, maybe a water drain hole or something. Um, either way, what I'm looking for is, you know, uh, the connection here matches the bolt pattern Threaded, unthreaded, threaded, unthreaded, all matches, and um, the nut matches. Now, what we want to do is we want to break this loose before we put it on the car. You want this nut off. If not, you're going to be having to go up in there while it's in there, loosen it just to put the terminal on and then tighten it. So make sure you take this one off. You know, it should match what we already took off. All right? So, and when you do, remember what size it is, because when you put it back on, you know, you're going to want to be able to grab the right part right away. So let me get this up in the car. I guess I can pull this off first. I'm going to show you how it's going to go in there i am not going to uh i'm going to pull it back down because i've got to take that nut off i want you to see how it dropped down okay you got that, that axle bar and this just slides on up and you can get it up in the cage just like so if you get it that far it's going to go in all right so I'm gonna pull back down because I gotta do that nut, but it can all be dropped down. I haven't taken anything else off. So let me get that nut off. I'm gonna slide it up in there and then we'll tighten everything up. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Life ain't easy, 
crazy, yo. I think there's a reason, though. Ups and downs, just like every different season, yo. Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing, though. I always gotta fight and hide from the demons, yo. Negative thoughts are poison, they rot. Uh, head full of flaws. So again, I don't know how good you can see. I am sweating mess. Super humid today and hot. I got the back bolt started, the top bolt started. I haven't put any of the connections on yet. I haven't slid the wire terminal over top of that stud yet. I haven't plugged it in yet. I'm actually gonna make sure I clean that a little bit before I put it on there. I may put some dielectric grease on it just because that's good practice. Uh, but for now, since I got the bolts started, I'm gonna keep tightening them, focusing on kind of going back and forth. If I can get the back one finger tight first, that'd be great. Um, like get it you no know, so it's straight and then maybe I can tighten the bottom one some more to make the top one go any easier. We'll see, but either way, those bolts should go in first before you connect any connections. Do make sure that you didn't pinch any wires behind the starter um, and just pretty much send it together. Get it all tight and then we'll uh, do our connections here. So I'm gonna keep going and uh, you can just keep watching. Oh man, I'm a sweaty mess. It is just hot out here today. So another update, I'm just making my way through. Both the bolts are tight. On the front and back, I actually, before I put it on, I uh, before I bolted it all in, I slid the wire loom over that stud, uh, only because it was getting in my way. So I wasn't really able to get the starter in place without doing that because it's such a short length wire. And I used the long pliers for that as well. So I'm gonna have to put the nut on that now. I'm probably gonna throw some dielectric grease on this terminal just to make sure that it's clean. I'll probably scratch it up some with some kind of uh, like flathead or something just to make sure that it's clean. Because if that wire is no good, it won't ever start. But um, yeah, keep working your way through, guys. It's just the opposite of installation now. I figure if you got this far, you're probably not even watching anymore because you feel confident you can do it. So uh, battery keeps dying on that. I'm going to go through. Um, just pretty much uh, put that top nut on, clean that connection, clip it in with put some dielectric grease on there. Um, and then I'll put the belly pan back and hook the battery up. Hopefully be good to go. Take my starter back with the core. But uh, I'll keep filming and then I'll give you like a summary at the end and I'll keep showing you what I'm doing. But honestly, if you've gotten this far, you're probably mechanically inclined enough to put it back together. So, um, you know, be sure if this did help you, like, subscribe, helps me a lot. I'm in the 800s now. I'm trying to break a thousand before the end of the year, which to me is good. This is a side gig. This is just fun work on the side. So I'll keep going, but thanks guys. Hopefully this is helpful. Head full of flies, so here come the clouds. Uh, they'll never stop unless I can swap. All the bad for the good in my head when I'm lost. Uh, yeah, so I'ma fake it till I make it. Positive thoughts are overtaken. I got patience. One day at a time is how you operate a cadence. So flow, you grow, you show yourself a foundation. Stay away from all the shit that causes temptation. I know that I like to do it cause of sensation. I live my life in my head like a narration. Don't expect greatness, do my best, man, I'll take it. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Hi guys, quick update. Flashlight is pretty much dead, but everything is tightened up in there. Um, I did put the, there was a plug in the box that was supposed to go in that hole. I put that in there. I don't know why I didn't see that before. Um, my signal wire connection was kind of loose, even when it was on there, even with the electric grease. I tried to clamp down on it a little bit to make it better. If I have problems out of that, I may, um, I may end up just replacing that signal wire uh, pigtail. Man, I'm sweating so bad out here. Um, look, I'm going to put the belly pan back on, which you guys, you know, just slides right back in, hook the battery back up. And that's pretty much the whole job. Uh, if this was helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, share the video. You know, I'm in some of the Dodge Dart forums because I have fixed a couple of things for other people. Uh, but otherwise, um, thanks for your time. Have a good one and best of luck if this is your issue. See ya.